everybody. Hey, we got our first inkling. <laughs> we had a data download just now. We got our first little uh, data download for the eighth anniversary. So here it is right here. So I tried to pull it up on the actual website and it uh, it doesn't doesn't pop up yet at the moment for some reason. But here it is. Look, the data download. Shout out to Harry Turney over here. <laughs> Look, this is it. Here it is, <laughs> guys, the, the eighth anniversary download, stuff coming in six days. <laughs> Why do they put the ECAs in so early? What is Global doing? <laughs> this is a good joke. Um, this is fine. This is the These are the free-to-play units that are coming out for the celebration. This is the login bonus, and then the, this is the other free-to-play unit. So let's go over what is in the data. So first up, we got Easy A Super Boo. We now have a countdown to them here. Uh, so, you know, there, there it is. We have a date and time and a countdown. Nice. Same thing with uh, Super Vegito. This is, these are the Easy A's for part one that we're going to be getting. Uh, and then over here, we have the free-to-play Bobbity. This is the one that awakens into the LR Bobbity, you know, because we don't have enough of those. Uh, so we're going to have LR Bobbity, and he can exchange, or he standbys into the Majin Vegeta, and then if you collect enough orbs, then he attacks as either Majin Vegeta or Boo, depending on how many orbs you collect. So we're going to have him. We're going to pull up his info. This is the free-to-play Mr. Satan, or Hercule. He has a revive after he easy A's. And then we have, well, maybe he has it before as well. I don't remember. Um, and then we have the login bonus, the free to play Goku. So uh, let me go ahead and get all of this pulled up and we'll start talking about it. Okay, I got everybody pulled up here. Let's go ahead and hop over. So we got STR Super Boo, his easy A. Now this guy's okay. Uh, the issue is that he's not super crazy fantastic in his uh, base Super Boo form. He's okay, um, but then he gets really good once he becomes either Boo Han or Boo Piccolo. Once you get one of those two out, he's very good, but that doesn't happen until turn 5, as you can see right here. So uh, it, that's the issue with this guy. So the ideal scenario, I guess, is that you get this guy on like turn 2. And then you float him off and he comes back on turn five. Like that's that's the ideal scenario with this guy is that you see him uh, like as little as possible before he transforms into Buhan. So either you get him in slot seven and then he transforms on his second appearance or you get him in turn two, you float him and then he transforms on his second appearance. So if you get this guy turn one, it's like a worst case scenario. But this is his easy A. So let's go ahead and go over it. Transformation boost category key three HP attack and defense one seventy percent to stats, uh, decent. But I, I don't really know that you ever want to run this guy as a leader for any reason. Like he doesn't have any support. Um, you know he's kind of awkward as a transformation boost lead, so you don't don't really want to handle that. But he is decent in uh, battlefield if you need a extreme STR battlefield leader because he gives them three key and attack and defense or HP attack and defense one twenty percent to stats. So th this is solid right here uh, for battlefield. But you don't ever really want to be running him in uh, as like a main leader, probably for most serious content. Uh, this can also be decent. There's a lot of extreme STR transformation boost units, so th this can be a good battlefield leader skill at the very least. So there is that. Uh, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage to enemy, and greatly lowers attack and defense. This is his main issue: is that he's not getting defense on his super attack effect. You guys know at this point that if you're not getting defense on your super attack effect, you're just prone to uh, like. Uh, sadness. <laughs> um, so passive skill, battle for evolution, key plus one, attack and defense plus 120%, raises defense by up to 120%, the more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, this is additive, uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack, this is his only multiplicative buff, and then he gets an additional 60% defense within the same turn after receiving an attack, so I take that back, he actually gets two multiplicative buffs, but they add together, so he has... You know, 120 plus 120 is 240, and then he has this multiplicative buff of 120% uh, in total after he receives both of these conditions, so when attacking and after receiving an attack. So, and then he transforms when conditions are met. You can see his conditions down here. He can transform in, either into Buhan, Boo Tanks, or B Boo Piccolo. I'm going to sum it up like this. If you get Buhan, you're doing great. If you get Boo Piccolo, you're doing fine. If you get Boo Tanks, uh, your run's over. I'm sorry, he sucks. <laughs> That's, uh... That's about how it goes. I feel like most of the time you will be able to get Buhan out, but uh, he's going to say have the same issue that all the other like Majin Buu's do and that we, we don't really have another big bad boss's Majin Buu unit to really link with him. Like that Majin Buu, um, like Buhan, if he just started as that, this guy would be pretty solid. Um, 
But since he's not starting his set, I think a lot of people, you know, the, the, these five turns that you have to spend with this guy are looked on very poorly of him. So uh, just just keep that in mind with this guy. Obviously, he's a great addition to your box. Um, just like you will be able to get some value out of him. I think he's pretty solid, especially if you get Boo uh, Ultimate Gohan out here, Buhan. Uh, if you just look at it, you know, he has like a great chance to guard. Um, he heals. He's got key. His stats are higher. Like he's got additionals. Uh, it, it's just this is this is a good this is a good unit. So uh, that that's all I have to really say about this unit right here. Uh, next up, we have Super Vegito. Now I wasn't super impressed with this guy's EZA. He doesn't really do much damage, but he they give him a decent amount of damage reduction against normals. So if there ever comes a time where we can't tank normals again, this guy will be okay. In that you know nobody will be able to survive the supers, so he won't really be um, like outclassed. But he'll be able to survive the normals, whereas other units won't. So he does have some, like, potential aging. The question is, you know, how, how well and how quickly. Like, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, basically, he has 80% damage reduction against normals. He has a bunch of buildup in here. I don't really want to read it all out. The point being is that you just want to kind of throw this guy in front of a bunch of attacks and hope that he doesn't get supered. If he doesn't, then he'll build up some stats. And again, he'll be just he'll just be decent against. Or I say decent. He'll be great against normals, bad against supers, and that's just kind of this guy's role. He he doesn't really do much damage. He doesn't really have anything else in his kit going for him. He's just a unit that you put in front of a bunch of attacks and you pray that there isn't a super attack there because if there is, it's uh, probably not going to go over well unless he's completely fully built up and like the stars align and just everything goes well. Uh, again, good addition for your box, but he's not even really like a good battlefield leader. His leader skill is kind of dookie. So, uh, uh, you know, he's okay if you've got no other options, but uh, th this is definitely not what we want to see out of our EZAs. You know, like, he's okay, but he, he's just not really a help for anything at the moment. So I don't really know how much value you're actually getting out of him. That, that's all I really have to say about this guy. Um, I, but, you know, at least it's like 30, 33 stones or whatever. All right, next up, we have the LR Bobbity. Now, we won't be able to get the full LR Bobbity here. Um, we're only going to be able to awaken the TUR, it looks like. You can see right here we got the TUR. So uh, we, we will go ahead and go over the LR Bobbity though. So you want to grind up. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> this right here, Root of All Evil Bobbity, th this SSR, you're going to need 20, hang on, 29, 29 of these guys. Because you need 10 for the first one to get a super attack to 10. Then you need 4 to open his hidden potential paths. So that's 14. And then you need another 10. That's uh, 24 to get him to SA20. And then you need another 5 whenever he EZAs to get him to SA25. So that is a total of 20... What did I say? 24? Wait, what? No. Hang on. 10, 10, 4, and 5. So 29 copies. <laughs> I don't know why I psyched myself out there. 29 copies of this guy is what you need. So, you know, start grinding. You need you need a lot. Um I mean, obviously, start grinding, right, whenever he comes out. So, again, that's, you're going to need one copy, get him to SA-10, unlock all four of his paths, okay? Get a second copy, just get him to SA-10, get a third copy, get him to SA-5, and that's you'll need those three copies. SA-10, all paths open, SA-10, and SA-5, okay? So that's a total of 29. Uh, go ahead and start grinding those out as soon as you can. Uh, obviously, he won't be alive for, like, until, like, the, the 6th. Uh, you know, it says the 7th, but, like, you, you guys can see it's like it, it's basically the sixth, right? Or at, at least it will be for most people. Um, it, it'll be like the it'll be the reset on the on the sixth. So for some people, it might be the seventh, but it, it'll be the sixth, right? So start start grinding those up. OK, so again, 29, 29 of these guys. <laughs> then you can see his awakening medals right here. This first set of awakening medals. Obviously, you're going to have three copies. So you need three times 30. You need 90, 90 of these medals. There should be a drop rate bonus. We can go ahead and click on this here and open up the story event. Uh, looks like the increased drop rate is for Worldwide Chaos. So go ahead and start looking at your Worldwide Chaos characters. Uh, see which you know team you want to build. Obviously, LR characters are going to give you the highest drop rate. So if you can bring as many of them as you can, go for it. You know, this guy's free to play. 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 So, you know, there's a nice core of free to play LRs here. Um, and start building up your worldwide chaos team, thinking about that. Um, 
This is the actual story event, so you'll get stage one right here. This will drop the Bobbity. I'll go over all of this whenever it actually drops in game and show you guys where to get all of this. And then stage three here is where you can get the awakening medals. So I assume this is all we will be able to get on the first day as soon as the event drops is these first three stages. Maybe the first four, but we, we will see. Um, again, 29, 90, 29, 90 if you want to go about this completely free to play if that sounds monotonous and boring to you check out my auto clicker guide and uh you know get get to uh get to grinding all right let's go ahead and look back over here and so he'll awaken into this and then we'll go over this in part two but you see he needs 50 medals to awaken to an lr you guys already know that means you need 150 of these once uh once these medals release these shouldn't be out in part one i don't think we'll be able to grind them immediately but whenever these release in part two you know be ready be ready to get grinded <laughs> um so uh, then he'll awaken into Bobbity, and this is where he actually is good. Now, I, I don't really want to go over this in this video. You guys can pause it and take a look here, or you can pull this up on the wiki on your own. But this is the eventual LR that this Bobbity will awaken into right here. Um, and then he has this Majin Vegeta standby. And if you get enough orbs, he does the Majin Buu resurrection. If you don't get enough, then he does the uh, Vegeta blows up the crowd attack or whatever. So... Um, th this is the unit that we're working towards. I guess let me flip over to the Extreme Z. You can pause, read all of that. Again, we can pause, read all of that. Okay, cool. Uh, this guy isn't super crazy, but you do have to grind him up for the ticket multi that they're going to do. So just keep that in mind. It's like you really do have to finish these guys if you want your free LRs at the end of the celebration. So e even if he's not very good, go ahead, grind him up. I'm sure some player is going to get use out of him. So, um, and you get this cool card art right in your box. So there, there is always that. All right, next up, last up, we have Hercule. So this guy, you're going to need a total of, what is it going to be? It's going to be 19 of this guy, uh, significantly less. So you need one, you know, you need this guy right here. You need 10, like I said, to get him up to SA-10, four to open his paths, and then five once he easy A's to get his super tech up to SA-15. So 19 total for this guy. Um, and then 40 medals looks like so you need 20 to awaken one of them 20 to awaken the one at SA5 And uh, that's what you'll need for this guy. It doesn't look like his awakening is in the data yet, which again makes sense um, Because that's that's going to be in part two. We can go ahead and click on it here um, This guy isn't crazy, but he does he does have a revive. It's a 50% uh, It's a high chance of reviving when KO'd so uh, you know you flip a coin whenever you die maybe you revive uh, we'll, we'll go over this more whenever this guy actually actually releases in game. But um, again, you have to grind these guys out in order to do the free LR multi at the end. So, uh, you know, get, get to grinding, right? <laughs> and then last up, this is just the login bonus. Not too crazy. He has like a nuke leader skill, which is just kind of whatever. Like these cards... Some of them have been okay. I think I got the most use out of the 6th anniversary one because that UI Goku had dodge chance and he was actually decent. And I think I used him a couple times in Battlefield, so uh, maybe Super Battle Road whenever he first came out too. I know on my JP account, I actually got quite a bit of use out of him, again, especially in Battlefield, just because you give characters like a 50% chance to dodge. Turns out that's pretty good. So uh, this guy isn't crazy. I mean, he's just a login bonus like reward card. So, um, you know, just hang on to this guy do whatever you want with him this is just a collector's item so this is what he does you can go ahead and take a look at it i don't really feel the need to go over it again this is just a collector's item so that is what we got in the data download let me go ahead and check and make sure there's nothing else uh going on um what is this oh that's from february yeah that that looks like that's it there weren't any other updates here um Again, let me know what you guys think about this data download. Uh, I guess real quick, I can double check. Is it up on the website yet? Oh, no, it's still not up here. So anyway, we went ahead and pulled it up on this wiki, the fandom wiki. So shout out to them. Uh, I, I still really like this wiki. I know some people are starting to move away from it, but they have a lot of good information over here. So I, I like to use all of them in tandem. Uh, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're excited for the 8th anniversary. I know uh, I am. I'm excited to have new characters to do videos on, you know, instead of having to just scrounge for content. So, <laughs> uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're excited for the 8th anniversary. Um, I will do, like, more in-depth guides for the free-to-play units whenever they actu actually release. But, again, just know for Bobbity, 29. You need 29 copies and 90 medals. And then for this guy, you need 
19 copies and um, 40 medals, which I don't I don't think you'll be able to get the medals yet, but you can go ahead and get your 19 copies ready to go. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.